Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another fragrance review on... What smells good to me? So what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about some fragrances that were sent to me from Zoologist, so thank you Victor Wong. But just because they were sent to me does not mean that I'm going to give you a dishonest review. I'm going to give you 100% honest. I think it's fair to the consumer. It is fair to the company. It's good feedback. Um, and in the end, guys, it's just my opinion. Who am I? I'm just monkey man. Anyways, with that being said, on with it. So the first one we're going to review is Camel. So Camel launched in 2017. Uh, the perfumer behind this was Christian Carbonal. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It is a very dark, warm, um, kind of dried fruit accord, resinous incense, uh, really nice musky, oud, woody, um, some nice amber in there, vanilla showed up. It's, it's just a good, nice, dark, warm fragrance. I will say this. Um, it wasn't my favorite. I liked it. I would wear it. Uh, I don't know if I'd buy a bottle of it. That's what I thought when I first put it on in the morning. Uh, at the six hour mark, it kind of starts to die down. So I went for a reapplication and then I kind of fell in love with it again. I liked it. I liked it much more than when I put it on in the morning. So that's kind of one of the things that is nice about fragrances. Sometimes your second, third, fourth go round, you truly fall in love with a fragrance. That's why I say it's my opinion. It's always good to try stuff. Fragrances are always different on everyone's skin. Everyone's body chemistry is different. So um, I liked it a lot, second go around. So let's do the notes in this. So you've got dried fruits, frankincense, palm, date, rose, amber, cedar, cinnamon, incense, jasmine, myrrh, orange blossom, savat, musk, sandalwood, oud, tonka, vanilla, and vetiver. It's a lot of stuff. So like I said, it's a very warm, um, kind of like almost like an aphrodisiac type fragrance. Uh, it, it's good. If you're an oud lover, if you like dark, warm fragrances, it's not too dank, it's not dank dark but it is a warmer fragrance. Uh, you're really gonna like this camel. And I know uh, it's a very popular scent, so you know, if something's quite popular, it means it's it's probably pretty good, right? Right? So this is camel. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Next up is Dodo. So Dodo uh, was uh, launched in 2019, but the perfumer was Joseph Delop. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I really like Dodo a lot. Uh, Dodo notes, fern, lime, lychee, raspberry, ambergris, fir, balsam, geranium, rose, amber, feathery, musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. Uh, I got a really nice, smooth sweetness. I got the rose, woody, musky notes. Uh, it it kind of reminded me of Joe Malone's nectarine, uh, blossom, and honey which is a more fem feminine fragrance. So I would say this leans more towards feminine, but I liked it. I really liked it a lot on my skin. Um, a lot of fr the fruit, the citrus notes, uh, kind of lemon and lime, really nice projection. Um, I got some compliments on it in the office. So it's, it's, it's just a really nice, smooth, sweet fragrance. I really enjoyed it. So um, like I said, leaning more a little bit more time uh, towards feminine. So, gentlemen, if you uh, if you're good with that, you don't mind wearing fragrances that lean maybe a little bit more towards feminine. Uh, it's great. Maybe you could share it with your significant other. You know, one bottle and there you go. Both you guys can wear it. So, that's Dodo. I really did enjoy it though. It's a really nice fragrance. Uh, last, this is the one I tried today. This is Hummingbird. I really like this one. Again, this, this one definitely leans uh, towards feminine, for sure. Um, so, Hummingbird was uh, launched in 2015, and the perfumer was Shelly Waddington. And we got fragrance notes as apple, cherry, citrus, mugat. I don't even know what that is. What is it? It's this right here. Okay. Uh, plum, rose, violet leaf, honey, honeysuckle, lilac, mimosa, puny, tulip, uh, amber, cream, uh, moss, sandalwood, white woods, and musk. 
It's a lot of stuff. So I get lots of fruit, you know, a lot of fruit accord. Um, I got the apples, the cherry, plum, rose. I got some pear. Um, not overly sweet. Uh, it didn't come across as synthetic. So sometimes when you get a lot of fruit notes, you get synthetic um, vibe to it. And I didn't get that at all. So I really enjoyed it. But again, like I said, this one really leaned uh, more towards the feminine, even more than Dodo did. So I would probably say this would be more uh, of a feminine uh, fragrance. It is unisex, but again, I, I rock it. I like it. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was just a really nice, smooth, sweet, like I said, fruit accord type fragrance. Which, uh, which zoologist fragrances have you tried? Leave your comments below. Make sure you follow Zoologist over on Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram account at Monkey's Tropicals Adventures. Follow me on YouTube at Monkey Man. And I will see you again for another fragrance review or a shave or something. Something. Some type of review. I'll be talking about something. I don't know if anyone's going to be listening. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care.